Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming out this morning, Google. Thank you very much from the Chicago Police Department for hosting this. Um, 20 years ago, we launched uh, Chicago's Alternative Policing Strategies. We started out on foot, we're still on foot, but we're trying to expand and we're looking forward to opening communication with the community residents in an easier, faster mode so that they can get their data out to them wherever they live or wherever they're traveling through the city. So we're looking forward to seeing what you can come up with to help our community residents get that information, get it to them faster, and if they can use their phones, that would be fantastic, all right? Um, we are looking for uh, different ideas that you develop so that our community residents can gather that information, whether it's like hitting them at certain points or on uh, bullets, but the idea is that some of our older methods have been a little bit uh, convoluted, too many steps to take. We're trying to eliminate some of the steps and we want the people to get the information out there faster and easier to them. So if you can get it to them with your uh, creativity, we would greatly appreciate it from the police department and from the city's point of view. Jonathan's gonna talk to you about the uh, technical side of it. I'm just here from CAPS. <laughs> thanks, Lucy. Thanks everybody for being here and thanks to Google for helping us to host this event. CAPS has conversations with residents every day, as Lucy mentioned, on the phone, on their blocks, and online. ChicagoPolice.org, how many people have been to, to that? How many people visited that website? Probably most of you. So that's been live since 2007. It was actually developed in collaboration with the community and with LISC uh, through their generosity through a grant from the MacArthur Foundation. Uh, today we want to continue that conversation. Uh, the purpose of the API is to expand the functionality to mobile platforms. Uh, this will help us engage citizens even more effectively residents to help share information with us, strengthen the bond between CAPS and the community, and allow even more communication. The API provides direct access to a number of data sets from the police department, including crimes. We also have act, uh, direct access to mugshot images of uh, wanted offenders and other functions. The apps that we're hoping you will generate today will allow residents to report community concerns, send crime tips, uh, report things like troll buildings, loitering, and suspicious activity. Uh, everything will be routed immediately in real time to our fusion center. So if a tip is submitted, it will go to our 24-hour fusion center where uh, analysts will review that tip and take appropriate action immediately. Thanks again for helping us to use technology to enhance information sharing between uh, the police and the public. The, uh, if you want to go to uh, api1.chicagopolice.org slash clearpath, that's where you can register for your token today, and it will be emailed immediately to you, and you can start. That's api1.chicagopolice.org slash forward slash clearpath. Uh, also, Scott Hilkert is here. from uh, He's one of our development vendors uh, that helped write the, the back end of this. So if you have any questions along the way, just raise your hand, and somebody will come over to help. There's Scott. Anybody need the URL again? Yes. So it's api one dot Chicago Police dot org forward slash clear path. Everybody got it? All right, thanks again. Can you yes. talk a little bit about um, how uh, community concerns work? So community concerns are uh, to allow residents to report things that don't would not require an actual case report. In other words, not a police report for a specific crime but rather some kind of a chronic disorder issue, uh, like troubled buildings, if there's a vacant building or a, a building that, that you think is causing problems uh, in the neighborhood, uh, prostitution, narcotics activity, uh, or miscellaneous concerns. That actually will get routed immediately to the district CAPS office, the community policing office, where community policing officers will review the concern and then route it to the follow-up unit as appropriate. <coughs> Uh, tips, well, those are the things that get routed to the Fusion Center immediately. So those are the two categories of things that you can submit. Right now, it's not going to be actual crime reporting. Uh, you've seen on a clear path, you can report uh, theft 500 and under and lost property. Uh, right now, those are the only two categories, and we have not opened those up to the API yet. Okay, I missed. Right. You might want to point out, it's in pre-production mode, so you yes. can feel free to send tips. Yes. And community concerns as a test, they won't be routed to police for actual. So that's a good point. So you're, you'll be working in that. <laughs> yeah, it's a test environment today. You do have access to all the crime data, so it, it's all crime to event to 2001. Uh, but don't worry about any tips or uh, concerns that you might submit today because you're in a test environment. Uh, once we finalize the terms of service, which is in legal review right now, 
uh, for the applications that are that are approved. Uh, once you agree to those terms of services, then you'll get a production uh, token, and we'll be good to go. For the classifications, is it simply gangs and our process? Other and public building? Yes. Yep. So other is the catch-all? Other is the catch-all for miscellaneous concerns. But again, the thing we want to make clear is that you're not, we don't want people to actually report crimes, a specific criminal incident that way. Instead, it's chronic disorder conditions. Chronic disorder conditions at particular places? Or in, a, in an area, in a geography, like games, hanging out on a corner, things like that. So abandoned cars. Abandoned cars, you could report that way. Um, there's also, everybody knows about the, the Open 311 API. Is everybody aware of that? So we also don't want things that should be reported to 311 to get reported here. Um, we'll provide some documentation on this in the terms of service once that uh, is finalized and that will go into more detail about what's appropriate to report and what isn't. There'll probably be some disclaimer language that we'll ask you to, to share with residents who might use your app so that they know, for example, if it's a crime in progress, we want you to call 911. So uh, we'll, we'll finalize those and get those out. Any other questions? Anything I missed, Ryan? Anything else? Scott?